The most shocking playoffs in memory continue into the second round. Yes, these are the playoffs gone absolutely crazy, like two straight weeks of full moons. There is no telling how often this bad boy will go off tonight, but I can tell you one thing. I will be ready. Well, Mike said before the game that he would be ready for the cannon tonight. That doesn't look like you're ready. Nor tough, Mike. You were scared to death right there. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Silence is golden. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Earlier this afternoon, David Savard and Seth Jones playfully imitating the coaching staff, even acting out what a coach's challenge might look like if we have one here tonight. But it was moments after that when we saw what a real head coach looks like prior to a game. John Tortorella, calm, composed, and focused, at least for now. Game three, ready for takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Here, Luke Dubois. John Tortorella, as he arrived in all of the haze and darkness, not every entry can be perfect. And with a sense of humor, he approaches the start of game number four. Nick Polino, a beauty as well, as the guy showed and looked like he might end it prior to the Bobrovsky heroics on Bergeron that happened later in the period. You should hear him down here. He's talking to the players. He's talking all the time. He's in. He, he's yeah. He's into it. He's just talking to me right now. He's waving hello. <laughs> in the playoffs, things change so quickly. Expect the unexpected. Oh, that like that. Up. Like that right there. <laughs> Dougie Hamilton trying to five hole Curtis Backlund. Uh, is that not incredible? Like we just said it and expect the unexpected. And I'm telling you, he lays this hard on the net. Look at the face on him. Like, you got to be kidding me. He'll lead the breakout to center and dump the puck in. Whoa! Almost a malfunction for Bob. Oh, oh boy. And maybe, <laughs> look at that. Look at those eyes to Seth Jones. My goodness. Oh, as a former goalie, my heart stopped watching this. You see this puck, it lands on edge. And look at it just go, oh, man, to the left. That's a nightmare, but good recovery there by Bobrovsky. He argued the whole way to the box, didn't like it, but another power play for the Avalanche coming up. And obviously the big man doesn't like being in the penalty box, wants to not let us see him. That's him behind his stick, the live look in the bench for Brett Burns. Pareko saying it went off to Sagan. No way. That's straight up and over. Oh, the penalty! St. Louis penalty. Two minutes to go again. And hats off to those four men, they got it right. There's a battle for elbow room on and off the ice. Look at these two, have to be brother and sister. Both tenacious, just like the two clubs <laughs> on the ice. Looks like me when I'm on the airplane fighting for that elbow room. <laughs> Kept it away from Spezza. Gunnarsson up the middle looking for Schwartz. Puck deflected out of play. There's yeah. Ezekiel Elliott. Helping the young man that got hit with a puck. Uh, yeah, it's a selfie, okay. Yeah, that's good. That'll make him feel better. Oh yeah, that's awesome. He'll dig into the corner. Spezza trying to pull it out. Bortuzzo drops Lindell down. Lindell dives. Lindell dives again. Put Whoa. him in the box for being Greg Luganis. And then he dives again. Essa Lindell just owed three times. What an absolute farce. Bortuzzo fired up off the call. Hits him again. You see his head snap back. I mean, it's Robert Bortuzzo. You're reading his lips from up here. He says, dive, dive, dive. Three dives. Inexcusable. Don't, don't do this. Please, don't do this. If the unthinkable happens and either goalie gets injured tonight as it happened in game two, the Hurricanes have an emergency backup goalie ready to jump in. He's 29-year-old computer engineer Spencer Williams. The NC State grad even suited up earlier this season when Roberto Luongo went down, although he didn't actually end up going in the game. Williams plays in a local men's league. Um, that's him actually last night playing, getting all ready. His gear is in the locker room right now, ready to go, but for now, he's just an interested spectator. Cal plays it for Philpola, back to the blue line, out of Pollock, left circle, shoots and scores! No! Pollock thinks he has a power play goal, but didn't hit the outside of the net or the inside! Oh, the horn went off, it looked like it went in the net, it looked like Ryan Pollock had put the Islanders in the lead. You can see that area right there, you see where the plastic is with the net, that's where it went in right into that little area. That's where it got lodged. On the stick of Shen. Now Perron with a shot. Off the post. Most only scored. No single. And now the fans 
will sit back down. <laughs> you can hear the collective groan from the crowd as they watch the replay. Oh, excited then. Oh. To the slot, Anders Lee, a backhand for Barzell. Across, they score! Matt Barzell angles one in off a stick. Barzell looking for Bailey backdoor. Look at the stick position of Slavin. Trying to intercept it, unfortunately for him. Puts it past Morazic. All the way over for Burns. That shot blocked by Kerfoot, who lost his skate blade as Burns scores! Watch Kerfoot, he's gonna get in the lane on Burns. The blade's gonna pop right out of his skate. And Kerfoot in the neutral zone was trying so hard to get up and get back in the play, but no chance without a blade on the skate. Out to O'Reilly, and then a shot, stick to side. Off the stick of Petrangelo by Bishop. And you weren't kidding about stick to side. Look out. Yeah. Now they score! This thing is gonna knock the stick right out of Ben Bishop's hand, and then Robert Thomas is gonna go to work. Little push off by Vince Dunn, and then Robert Thomas posts it in. Sets up Klingberg for a shot that missed the net. Perron, off the side of the cage, Lucarello scores! And the Stars tied at one as Bennington didn't know where the puck was, and it bounced right to Zuccarello. And that went off the referee and back out in front, and on a very odd play, Bennington lost his stick, and the Stars stuck it in the back of the net. Three-quarter sheet shot on Bishop, no problem, but then he turned it over, and it's Maroon who shoots and scores! High, 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 high! And that discombobulation went their way! Unbelievable! They had a great, big, soggy bag of nothing going on, and this is a different game now on a nothing play. That shot blocked. Jones again! And in close, it is no goal. There were some sticks raised by Felino, but held by Raz. That puck, and it's very close. I think yeah, that puck no. may be in, guys. Felino was out near the blue line, and he raised his arms and said, hey. And, and look at the conversation Rask is having with Corrali right there. If I know a puck went in, I might say, oh boy, let's see if we get away with it. After video review, it, it is confirmed the puck crossed the goal line, therefore we have a goal. Two to one, with 9.27 to go in the third. Artemi Panarin sent Jones with a shot. That was tipped and went up into the netting. Nobody saw it. Puck is still up for grabs. That hit the netting and then scored. Panarin. Artemi Panarin gets the goal, but that puck was out of play and hit the netting. It did, and that's what Bergeron's talking right now with the official. That one was out. As it goes up, gets deflected by Tuka Rask, and you'll see a little right there. You can see the white move just behind, but nobody saw it. And nothing can be done about it. Wow, what a break. I didn't know what happened. I didn't see it hit the net. If I saw it, then I would have probably slamming the sticks and chasing the refs, but I'd <laughs> probably better that I didn't see it. Miko Rantanen may just have missed on his best scoring chance of the night, but teammates and opposing players marvel at his puck handling skills. Where does it come from? Well, try the Scandinavian game of floorball. It's played with short sticks that have whiffle blades. It's a premium on handling the bouncing ball with a skill. Rantanen played the uh, sport four or five times a week in an organized league from five to 15 years of age. So this is where his soft hands come from, but they just were not soft enough on that last chance. Day. Pretty cool. We know it's a game, and Zuccarello's been great like that, too. I think he turned around and told me, he goes, Coach, we're up 4-1, we're having fun, relax at one point in the second period. <laughs> did you relax after Matt said that? I did. Because <laughs> he has, a, like, such a like a pleasant smile on his head. I'm like, ah, you're right. After yesterday, when Mark left practice, um, was that a setback, necessarily? I don't expect him to not play, but... You know, we're talking about practice, right? He, he's, he... But we talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice? You said that you'll be back every game seven. What We will. What gives you the confidence that you'll Because we seven? will. The Boston Bruins three, the Columbus Blue Jackets nothing, and in the series, four games to two. This is as far as this franchise has ever been. Is there a sense of accomplishment for you? Don't even go there. Or does with it? Me. No. Don't even go there with me. I'm not going to listen to that shit about an accomplishment. You get to the second. I don't even want to listen to it. Jeremy Play will send it down the ice, and that hit a glove that came off the Dallas bench. Now Anton Hudobin reaches over the boards to pick it up. Lovejoy loses his glove over the boards. It negates an icing. Could you imagine if that had an effect on an icing call face-off in a game seven? Man, oh man.
Blues have the puck. Thomas off the wall. Shoots, and it's in. It's they good. score! It's the St. Louis in. Pat Maroon. Bring out the Zamboni. Pat Maroon just put the city on his shoulders, and he sends him to the conference finals. What can you say about the way your group handled the next three games and ultimately advancing to the conference final? We did a good job. What do you make of the opportunity that lies ahead of you? It's been fun. So I see where this is going here. I'll ask you one more about your line. What kind of zone are you three in? We're good. Thanks. Well, that was worth it, Jim. Yeah. Now a chance for Bailey. It's shot. Scores! Josh Bailey! You come in, you just score a big goal. It's tied up, and you pat the goalie on the top of his mask. And they're not going to appreciate it. I'm sure Macklin, he didn't appreciate it either. You want to rattle the pots and pans a little bit, huh? The Carolina Hurricanes are on their way to the Eastern Conference Final. A 5-2 win and a four-game sweep of the New York Islanders.